Hi there. If you came from a previous video of this video series, then click in the chapter marker down below to start the video. If you just started this video and because you found this on YouTube, then you should be clicking on the uh, card here above to get you to the first video of the video series. Because this is more an interactive video series where you can click from one video to another depending on what your setup is. Thanks for watching. So, so you, you have found out that you're behind CGNet and you can't open any ports on your router. So one of the solutions for that is a VPN that does port forwarding. I've looked at a few and one I have come across that works quite well and is very easy and straightforward to get going is pure VPN. So let's have a look here. I will leave a link in the description for pure VPN. Uh, that you can use. That's an affiliate link, so it'll give me a little bit of a kickback, but it's your choice if you want to use that or not. Now, once you have uh, created an account with PureVPN, you log in to your, your account, into your dashboard. It has just locked me in here. And then you go to PureVPN and you say download, and then you download PureVPN. We assume in this case it's Windows. So you download that. I have it downloaded already. You then can close the browser and then start the app, pure VPN app. Okay, you then click here on this little globe on the left. And I have already selected this bit. So you have here all and then you have PF. And if you hover over PF, it's port forwarding. So it will then only show you servers that are capable of port forwarding. We obviously want one of those. So for me, a uh, shortest latency is uh, Netherlands actually uh, of these. So we'll take a Dutch server. Okay, I'm connected. And you go to connection details. And you can see enabled ports here and it's loading to find out what ports are enabled. Your IP is up here. That's the IP you will need for, for your um, camera or your encoder. So, and then we click on this little arrow behind ports. It, that brings you in the member area and port forwarding. And what we do is we say enables, enable specific ports and we had open port 22222 for our SRT apply settings. There's no point enabling all ports. Um, it's much safer if you only enable the ones you need. So on that, uh, close this page again, go back in here, close the connection details and open connection details again. And it will be loading enabled ports and that's port 2222 enabled. And you can now minimize this, go back to OBS, and you can then go to the next step where you now test with your phone from the outside. Uh, for that, click on the appropriate video here in the end cards if you have an iPhone or if you have an Android phone.